Hello beautiful Pisces! So, just because uh, I want to follow through with just doing things in a very different way, I'm going to use runes and charms and uh, see what else they want me to pick out of after this. So, I'm going to do... I'm going to do the three runes. Okay. So, I'm going to put them the way they're telling me. One, two, and three. <laughs> I already know that this this one is ice and it's considered as called static energy loss okay cooling a separation um, so it, I like that I, I really like that because it's really showing me that this is where you're gonna end up okay at one point in this week that's gonna be the defining moment that you're going to feel like you've been stopped. Uh, and I'm not saying that it's going to upset you. I feel like more it's it's a little bit of a... You're going to feel a little perturbed and a little bit quizzical. Like wondering, what? What is, what is going on? Okay. And this one in the middle is um, your challenges. Okay. And this one is... Um, like destiny it's like the dice it's like uh it's gonna feel a little bit like what am i missing what's the mystery what am i not seeing and the mystery is is you need to um move forward okay you need to go forward in the last one for the end it's written if this is called hail or limits okay and it's upheavals it's taking risk, having delays. And again, you had the Two of Swords. These are all for a reason, Pisces. And this is what I feel. This is about choices, okay? This is you putting limits. This is you surpassing those limits, okay? Um, this is you looking into the different spots, the... Uh, they're even like this also means like shadows so it could look in shadows it's a different way of interpreting things so just to um okay so this is this is saying like this is you're going to feel stuck okay in a situation or a relationship okay in the tarot, they say that this would be the hermit, okay? And guess what? The hermit is right here, Pisces, okay? No coincidences. Even the runes are going, yeah, okay? And I'm going, by the way, if you're, if you're curious, I'm going by the elder, um, the elder ruin system, okay? So, yeah. So this is... This is you just feeling like you're being stopped. I love the idea of ice because every time I see this one, I feel like ice freezing. Water stops flowing. That's what I always see with this ruin. I always see like ice, you know, like everything stops and the thing's stuck. Until it melts, things are not going to move again. I really like this one. This one is unexpected luck. Could be good fortune. Uh, so... This is speculating as well. And this is the Wheel of Fortune in Tarot. So there you go. This is a cycle. This is, like I said, this is something that you have to work through. Work through. It's destiny. It's solving mystery. It's solving that secret. What am I not seeing right now? Okay? All right. And then we have this one. Which, uh, this is short-term difficulties. Like I said, this feels like the two of... Um, the Two of Swords, okay? But in Tarot, it's actually the World card. So it's the beginning and the end of something. It's your path that you're going on. This is like a completion. This is, are you going to integrate everything that you've learned from the last phase that you went into, into the current phase? And that's what I said this morning. This is a test, okay? This is for you to really look at things, to see... Uh, it says short-term difficulties, but with long-term gains. In other words, this is this is how you move forward. Okay. 
I love this. This is so cool, you guys. Okay. I love I love uh, using new divination tools. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna do charms now, and then we're gonna go into something else. Okay. <laughs> mm, like this. Okay. Right. Okay. So I feel you're gonna have very much grounded energy this week, and you're gonna take off with that. I see the horse. So I feel that you're gonna take off with this energy, this these chakras I was talking about. Okay, you're gonna take off with that with the horse and the the tree, the ground in this. And I'm not saying it's wrong. It's not wrong. In this case, it's not. You're using one energy, and you shouldn't. You should be using the other one. It is. Yes, you should. But that's gonna only take you so far. Okay. This is only going to take you so far. I'm going to put these here, and then you're going to have to stop and look. Okay, you have the glasses. You have the glasses. <laughs> and you have the turtle, I can't believe. This turtle, I'm going to put this here. Okay, actually, they're all, they're, they're going to, actually, they're all together. You have the glasses, the turtle, uh, the moon. She's sitting on the moon, this fairy. She's looking at what's up. I feel very much like the star energy here, okay, the hangman, the perspective. So they're going to ask you to stop and see what the slow up is. And the slow up is you have to get a different perspective, and that's the key. That's the key to you moving into this new energy, okay? So let's see. Look, introspection, we'll put that there. The turtle, we'll put it into the oppressive, okay? Because it's like suddenly you're getting stopped. It's like meeting a wall of of, uh, of wands. Like, why am I not moving, okay? Um, perspective, it could be the hermit or choices here. And the key is this, knowing that you have to use all these chakras to make your blessings come true. This is going to remove the block, okay? So we're going to start off with these. We're going to put this here. Actually, no. Where I put them is right because it doesn't really... I feel like I'm on a playing board. That doesn't apply. This is where you're getting stuck. Okay? This is great, you guys. This is really talking for me. I'm getting excited because I feel like they gave us a really good piece of information to use this week, Pisces. Something that we can really sink our teeth in so that instead of hitting a block and going... Oh no, where am I going? What am I doing? You're going to hit a block and go, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay? Now i got to do something different. What, I, what do I have to look at? I've got to look at something. I know I've got to look at something. Do I have to sit with an energy? What is my higher chakras saying? What are they doing? What are they telling me to do here? Okay, so I'm going to go for my mom's deck. Why? Just so I can have mom's help. So I call this energy Catsilla, okay? Her name was Catherine, but she likes to be called Priscilla, so I kind of put the words together. And uh, so it's Catsilla. It has a goddess sounding. She would have liked that. She was very much um, um, air energy. She was Libra. So in, in the human world, she's not here anymore. She is now energy. Seven of ch shell choices and ambitions, right? So here we go. This is a seven of cups. A lot of <laughs> there's indecision, but there's also illusion. Okay, and this is saying to look at your choices and to trust your creative brain, goddess of creation. I like that. Okay. And this is because you don't know which path to follow, but it's because you have to change the way you're thinking. You have to look at things from a different way, a different perspective, okay? And, yeah. It's also a card that says, like, start small and work it out, okay? So, you don't have to. Sometimes you're thinking, well, I, I, I don't know where to start thinking. What, what do I start doing? Actually, they're telling me that they're going to approach that tomorrow. How do you start switching energies? So, we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to see how we can switch energies during the week, okay? So, right, your choice and ambitions. This is trying to help you go where you need to go. There's that key. That perspective and that key is getting in the way of this card. Perfect. Perfect timing. Okay? 
if you put that key in that perspective, looking down, using all those stars, all those energies, your choices will become clearer. I like that. If you look at this card, there's like six snails and one, uh, I think that's a lobster. Uh, there's actually a seventh snail here. But for some reason they didn't show it to me. But I feel like the lobster is the one that needs to be paid attention to. And it's going to become crystal clear. Huh. They're saying the choice that you need is right here. You didn't see it though because your perspective was looking in that direction when you should have been looking the other way. Look, it's right there, your solution. But you're not looking there, you're looking, you're looking above. Ah, very nice. All right. All kinds of goodies coming in today, Pisces, all kinds. If you'd been in with me today, you would have said, wow, Jane is everywhere. What are you doing? You would have been asking me all day, where are you? I've been, I've been very much with spirit. Another seven, seven of acorns. There you go. Determination and stamina. I like that. This is a seven of wands. I'm feeling seven, seven energies here. So you might want to look that up, okay? This is persevering through the challenges. You may feel a little aggressive and a little defiant, and you're going to want to stand your ground in this opposition, but this is what they're saying. This is not the bottom chakras, okay? Once you figure out that that's not where your energy needs to be, you're going to get a lot better, okay? You're going to you're going to stop thinking that forces are working against you and you're going to realize that you're going to need to use those energies for yourself to move forward, to go in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. The Ace of Acorns. Creative force and confidence. Okay, so right here is the Ace of Wands. So, being inspired to begin something new. Being inspired to think uh, new ways of doing, being creative. Again, it comes back to that creative. Okay. It's going to be a new bright idea. It's going to be a burst of creative energy. And suddenly your enthusiasm is going to shift and you're going to go, oh, that's it. It's like getting that answer. Okay. It's like solving the puzzle. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Mm hmm. Right. Do I still want this deck? Yeah, I do. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. <laughs> Ten of acres. Responsibility and dedication. Okay. So. It's the Ten of Acres is the Ten of Wands. We've already gotten the Ten of Wands. But this is saying that this oppression, this brick wall you're hitting, these wands that you're not seeing, the path in front of you, this is your um, this is your calling card to or your I don't know, your spiritual ha ha to go stop and look, okay? So when you hit it, it's time for you to go not feel like, oh, I can't get anything done. Think of it more like, oh, this is it. I need to do something different now, okay? So dedicate yourself to figuring it out, okay? I love that they picked this animal for this card, okay? Stubborn. Stubborn determination, okay? Um, follow your own path. Okay, they're showing me that sometimes uh, they're trying to move these animals, they won't go. Um, this is you, okay? Don't be stubborn, but be stubborn in finding your answers and finding a different way to find your answers. Flip it around. Instead of being stubborn and keep hitting that same wall with a hard head, uh, be stubborn and look for a different way. Be stubborn in that way, okay? Be stubborn in trying to find um, and persevere and go through the, figure out how to get through the challenge. And they're saying you're funny, get through the challenge. You can't get through a brick wall. That's exactly it. Maybe you can get through the challenge, but maybe you can rise above it. Right? Sacral chakra, crown chakra, rise. Not go through, 
rise, okay? This isn't brute force power, it's inner power, okay? Different, different energy altogether. And they keep bringing that up. They keep bringing it up. They won't let it go. So it's, it's really important. It's really important. I am repeating myself. I am repeating myself. But it's okay. Okay, so seven energies. I've been eyeing these since this morning. I'm going to... I'm going to pull a few of these. And then I honestly, I call it a reading. Um, like I said, I've been fighting all day. Worth it, you guys. Worth it. Completely worth it. Okay. This is a, the strategy week. Strategy. We're strategizing. We're learning new things. We're implementing new things. Remember this rune. Completion. The world card. Learning how to use what we've learned into practical. Into practical. Ha. <laughs> the burst of magic. That lovely. It's lovely. Look at that flower, it's opening up, and you are, I was talking about the ma the magician. I, I felt the magician all morning. He's been, like, bothering me, and that energy's been bothering me all morning. It's your bag of goodies. This is what they're saying. This is how you learn to play your life's game. How to, you know, utilize every single part. Not just not just parts of it. Sometimes you're going to need all your energy. Sometimes you're going to need part of your energies. And this is just a way for you to accomplish what you need. Okay? To get perspective on things. Okay? This is how you complete things. This is how you get things done. You're going to burst out magically at some point this week when you get that light bulb haha -ha moment. Things are going to just going to, you know, like like one of those those boxes that kind of explodes and glitter and everything comes out. It's going to feel that way for you. You're going to go, all right, this is it. That, now we're, now we're, we're cooking with the right stuff, okay? And that is fantastic because it means that it's going to, it's really going to help you confident, confidence-wise. You're going to start feeling like you, you're indestructible, okay? That you can go through brick walls. Or fly over them in the very least, okay? That nothing is insurmountable because you have so much at your disposal. And I like this feeling in you. Because we, we're the very first to always um, point out our, our own lacks. And like I said, this is Spirit saying, you only lack as much as you believe you lack, okay? You have everything you need to move forward at this point. One more here. <laughs> it is what it is. Six, the hard work, okay? What I see here is you're being shown a door. And this is like a brick wall. This this is like a brick wall. It's Is it a locked door? Is it really? What it is, is it's really a door. Okay, locked or unlocked, it's a door. The perspective that you have to figure out is if you need to get to the other side of that door, is how to get there. Okay, so this is again your perspective. I feel the energy building. You see this white energy building in front of that door? It's showing you a way, a path, what you need to do. Is there something there you're not seeing? Okay, is there maybe like in the dark here in the shadows, is there a way of getting past that? The runes ha showed a little bit of shadows here, uh, energy, okay, this one, okay, being in the dark, okay, the delays, the two of swords that was at the end of our reading uh, for the week, okay, you have to really, these are small delays, okay, it's just a matter of rebalancing things and um, unblock what's blocked or locked or in your way okay so admit that the energy you're in it is what it is and now you need to do something different you need to go into the hermit okay absolutely let that energy come in and let it help you okay go inside of yourself let the constraints be a path for you to find a different way. Don't let it discourage you. Let it inspire you to create a different solution. 
That one's pretty good. Yeah, that one was pretty good too. Let it inspire you to create a different solution, a different way. There you go. All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go with that. I think that's enough, and uh, yeah, honestly, I need to get other stuff done. This this has been like, woo. I hope tomorrow is not as difficult, spirit. I appreciate, though, that everything they're sending through me is to ultimately help you. And if any of you have found help in this situation, I would love for you to tell me, even if this is down the road, even if it's helped you recently, even if you've just come through this, or if this has helped you in any way, just let me down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Take care, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.